for Pulaski Wildlife Area in Indiana, and day after Thanksgiving. Um, Any time from around Halloween through most of November. 40,000 sandhill cranes come in, they fly out in the morning, they fly in in the afternoon. Okay? Just sit there and watch them, you know. You need to go some nights. There you don't want overcast lighting because then everything is gray. You got a, a, you know, you got a nice sunset, that's a good time to go. Cumberland Appalachian Mountains in Tennessee, wonderful opportunities then, particularly in the springtime. This is Southern Illinois, the Barmette Lake County. You can, not get a, you can drive five miles around this wonderful lake, wetland, and never get out of your car. Okay. Yellowstone, there's no better place for practicing your wildlife photography than Yellowstone, particularly if you go early in the morning and late in the afternoon because there's nobody else there, but they're all at the lodge eating, okay? And you need to go, don't go in July and August, go in June or September. This is in June. June is early spring, this bison, 31 degrees when it got up in the morning, right? If you want to photo practice your bird photographs, go to Bosque del Canche in November through February. Thousands of opportunities, thousands of opportunities, bewildering opportunities, but thousands of opportunities. And then just about anywhere in the tropics, you know, there's opportunities for wildlife. And I didn't put Emico on here. That's your opportunity right there. Now, you just drive around like, like we do. As soon as I come in, we, we spend 30 seconds looking at it and we go away. You know, but you guys aren't. You guys have an opportunity to see if Kelvin comes in every mor early every morning. All right, I bet Kelvin probably has, I know he has, he is probably the best select because he sees it every morning at dawn. Well, not dawn, but close. <laughs> not going in the winter, it's dawn. <laughs> see something over and over and over again. That's what's important. Okay. Can we turn on the lights? Please. Okay, we're going to do an activity now. Tim, can you help me? Tell me what's reasonable. Don't tell me what I did. Tell me what's reasonable. Well, we know it's not close, so that's our Well, it's my eye level, but it's everybody else that might be level. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah I mean, everybody knows. Why you 
it's All a right. low angle. So, the, so you basically yeah. got down. You're, you're even. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> <laughs> okay, the legs. Millimeter macro, normal lens, 200 millimeter telephoto. Okay, to analyze this, you have to look at the subject and the background. Where's the bird? How many of you ever been this close to a great blue heron? Okay. All right. So we're, that's for something else. So. Okay. I think I'll just take that one off. All right, so it's some sort of telephoto to bring the bird closer to you. There's another clue. The other clue is the depth of field. Not much depth of field. All right. And then light. We've got late afternoon, back landing, electronic flash, midday, front landing, overcast, early morning, side lighting. And what color is the light? Is it cool? Or is it, I know. Oh, I was kind of cool. Is it cool or is it warm? You know, there's between cool and warm. Yeah. I would say it's more of a yellow light. Okay, it's yellow light. <laughs> yeah, it's not as bad. Okay. So that would be. Where's it coming from? You've got a time, no side, no morning, overcast, front, it's back. This way. <laughs> so it's. Um, it's not that coming. It's not overcast. Okay. <coughs> so there's no really hard shadows, are there? Uh -huh. So it's. You got them all right. Okay. All right. You're not done yet. Now, what's a what's a reasonable shutter speed f stop ratio to do this? Okay. What's the bird doing? Well, we don't know. It's not fishing, is it? It's just sitting there. Okay. Although he's got that lens on there. Okay. I've got long lens. And look at the background. Not much depth of field. Birds are already flown away. <laughs> yeah, that's this. This is perfectly reasonable. Okay, five six is plenty with the telephoto to get the bird as long as you get the plane of focus correct. Okay. So when you see a photo now, anybody's photo, you, you need to start going, oh, if it's a really bad photo, you can say, oh, well, what could they have done better? If it's a really good photo, it's, oh, well, I would mind, look that way, one, two, three. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is I've got, I've got <laughs> eight folders here. And there are a series of photos in each one, and you've got a handout that says how they do that. Okay. I want you to go through, and as groups, I want you to look at the photos, and I want you to, to analyze how, it, how they're taken. Okay? So you guys, one of you guys here form a group, the five of you. I don't have enough for any table. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah. How about you five right here?
That's that. This does two things. One, take, now you take the phone and get you blocking in terms of photography.
it's because that's what I was using. Yeah. That's what I was using. It's like a moth on top and a butterfly on the bottom. <laughs>